Hey everybody, Kyle Sasser here, Great Things Tampa Bay. And before we start, just had some addendums to add to the previous daily video. So, uh, just want to acknowledge that the collard greens and pecan pie were actually delicious that I had at Thanksgiving. And uh, that is directed to, uh, well, you know, you know who you are. <laughs> so anyway, yes, the, the uh, collard greens were delicious, um, homemade recipe. And the pecan pie, also delicious. Um, I ate all of it by the end of Friday evening. <laughs> so, obviously, it was delicious. Um, anyways, today wanted to talk about some other things near and dear. Um, those of you, many of you probably already know that the Texas Cattle Company has closed over here in St. Petersburg. Um, uh, I, for one, am, am particularly quite sad about this development. Um, my wife and I started going there. Uh, so the place has been there since 1978. My wife and I did not start going really until maybe two years ago. Uh, but we always loved to go there and get a great steak. Um, so really it was Texas Cattle Company, Charlie's, uh, which is owned by the same parent group as Texas Cattle Company. And then uh, Burn Steakhouse, of course. Uh, so those three were the primary steakhouses in the area that aged their own steaks, and that results in just a really, really tender cut of cut of beef. And then Texas Cattle Company, they would actually cook their steak over, um, I think it was applewood, and producing like a really great char and also uh, imparting a lot of smoky flavor to the steak. It was absolutely amazing. <laughs> um, honestly, it's, it's about the closest steak I've found in a restaurant to the ones I make at home. Um, so I have a, uh, I have like a Weber kettle at the house and then I have this thing called the, uh, the Slow and Sear, which is a pretty, pretty awesome little gadget. Um, I'm gonna put a link here if you're looking for any Christmas ideas for any, any uh, barbecue guys or grillers in your life. But basically what this does is it'll turn your Weber kettle into a smoker um, and then also provides like a place to sear thus the slow and sear name <laughs> so anyway uh, what I would do is I would slowly smoke the um, so I would smoke the steak uh, bring it up to about a hundred and you know 25 degrees 130 degrees I like my medium rare so you bring it up to about 120 and then so you smoke it up to 120 degrees, and then you take the meat off, you open up all of the vents with the, with the slow and sear, and then uh, basically to let all the coals ignite and produce a lot of heat, then you sear both sides of the steak, and then you eat it. It is amazing. <laughs> all that to say, uh, Texas Cattle Company produced one of the finest steaks in St. Petersburg and going to be sad that they are gone. Um, there's still one over in Lakeland, so if you want to make the drive, um, please do so. They are a really old, um, honestly, they were a fixture on US 19 for a very long time. So, going to be sad that they are gone. There's a lot of people that are like, oh, you know, baby, another baby boomer restaurant closing, boo hoo, nothing of value was lost. And, you know, here's the thing. So, Texas Cattle Company, was it a little hokey? Absolutely. <laughs> um, the seats were arranged and upholstered to look like uh, saddles. Uh, the waiters wore cowskin vests. Um, so, but that was part of the experience. And also many of you know that their most famous marketing ploy was uh, on your birthday you get a free steak. Uh, so, and that is no longer in St. Petersburg. So, very sad. <laughs> Uh, let's see, other news. Uh, Urban Brew and Barbecue is moving. Uh, de December 23rd, they are having a moving party. They're moving from their current location, which is down kind of close to, what is that close to? It used to be a charter school, and now it is a glass museum. And so they're moving from that location. They're moving up the street a little bit to the west to Urban Comfort, from my understanding. So, uh, it's a little bit a uh, better accessible location, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, although, if Urban Comfort, uh, if the Lime, uh, oh man, what was that thing? 
If the lime daiquiris do not transfer from Urban Comfort over to Urban Brew and Barbecue, I'm going to be very sad. <laughs> so those things are made with uh, St. Pete coconut rum and absolutely amazingly delicious. Can't recommend it enough. So anyway, wife and I will be at the Urban Brew and Barbecue send-off, uh, I believe December 23rd. If you download the Great Things Tampa Bay mobile app, there's a, an event section there and that should pop up there very soon. Uh, other than that, things are going pretty well. I'm actually on the way right now to drop off a sold sign on a, a house I sold a couple, uh, yeah, literally last week. So yeah, so things are pretty good. Uh, Merry Christmas. I'm going to be touching base a little bit more frequently, I think, here. So anyway, thanks for tuning in, and I'll talk to you soon.